guys, it's Claris. Welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this RC nail drill that I received from a friend. I've never used a nail drill before. I have done gel and dip powder. I haven't done acrylics yet. So I'll be learning some new things for sure. But I'm really excited to learn. So yeah, let's just get right into it. So what I hope to do in this video is open this up, try to put it together, set it all up, plug it in and everything, and then maybe we'll get to using it on my actual nails. I'm not sure since this is all new to me, but yeah, let's just do it. So on the top here we have, so we have the RC user manual here. Ooh, there it is. Let's take this out. All right, so it's packaged in this foam like that. And wow, there looks like there's a lot of other stuff in here. So let's get this all out. It's kind of tricky to do with my nails, but okay. So we have another long shape box like this and then another one. Wow, so compact. All right, so that was everything in the box. So let's first take a look at this. This looks like the main unit of the nail drill. This looks so professional. So there's like this clip on the back. That's interesting. So we have a little dial up here and it says um, on and off and speed max right there. It's kind of hard to see. And this looks like where we plug it in. And then we have a forward and reverse switch. I believe that's what that is. All right, and what do we have in here? Okay, this looks like how we're going to plug it into the wall. So we'll set that aside. Now, I think this might be, is this the rest for it to rest on? I'm not sure. I should probably look at the manual. And it looks like it comes with another kit of these drill bits in addition to this one. And I'll see if I can identify these later, but. Um, oh, it also had this little cap here. I'm not sure if it fell off something. Maybe, I'm not sure, okay. All right, and let's open this box. This is probably where it'll be, where I'll have the hand piece. Yeah, okay, so I'll just take this out, the cord, and there it is. Wow, feels pretty heavy. This is really pretty. Here we go, it says ARC on it. It does really feel kind of heavy. I mean, it's not super heavy, but it definitely feels substantial. So it might be kind of hard to see, but right there, that little tiny symbol is the unlock. And then there is the lock symbol right there. So that is how you're going to um, be able to take the drill bit in and out with that. Okay, so now let's take a look at the instruction manual. So the first thing we have here is the index. Okay, so items included. We have the rechargeable nail drill. Then we have the power supply. We have the handpiece holder. That is probably what this purple stand is. Cool. Then we have the drill bits, the little box of six different drill bits. And then there are the six sanding bands and then the user manual, which is this right here. So this one right here, looks like the cone. It's kind of cone shaped. Then we have the safety bit. I've also heard that this one is also called like the football bit or something like that, but it kind of looks like it. And then we have the needle head. We have the small barrel and then the large barrel. And this is the mandrel. And you won't use this by itself. You will put the sanding bands on that. So this manual is super helpful. It gives a little brief description on what each sanding bit is for. So what else do we have here in the manual? So we have some diagrams of how it's supposed to look, how to replace the drill bit, um, charging problems in terms of settlement, um, safety information. Okay, so I'm just going to walk through starting from here um, how to use down here. And I'm just going to start from step one here. Okay, so choose one grinding drill bit Release the handpiece, insert one drill bit at the drill head, and lock it into place. Okay. I'm going to start with the um, small barrel here. So this is what it looks like. Um, it doesn't, f it kind of looks sharp on the end, the way it's not like rounded out or anything, like those safety bits. It doesn't feel too sharp, but it could possibly be, it could possibly still cut yourself, so you have to be careful. I think I just figured out what this cap might be for. So I think what you do is you slide it on here. And I notice there's this little thing over here on the side. I think what you do is you can lock it. You can do... Oh, 
does this stand up? Okay, maybe this like stands up and you put it in here like this. There, so now it's like this. That's a way you can do it. Anyways, let's see about putting on this small barrel. All right, so now let's see about charging this. I'm not sure if this has any charge yet, so. All right, so there's a couple arrows here and then there's an arrow on here. So I think that means it goes like, uh, like that. Let me switch this on and see if anything happens. Ooh, all right, so the screen turned on. It looks like it has maybe half battery. Can you guys hear that? It's going very quietly. So I think normally you would use something like 10 to 15,000 RPMs. Not really anything too much faster than that. So we put in the drill bit, rotate the on and off button to turn on the device. We did that and then we can change the speed by keep on turning it in that same direction. And you can change the direction of the grinding drill bit on the forward or reverse button as needed. Let's try that. So let's just put it on 5,000 RPMs. And the switch is right on this side. So right now it's on forwards. Oh, and I switched it to reverse and it stopped and now it's going the other way. Let's push it back. Yeah, that's cool. All right, let me just switch that off. I'm not exactly sure when you would use this. I think it might have to do with if you're right-handed or left-handed. You can correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah. So maybe we should try something on my nails now. I'm thinking maybe I'll do some like dip powder and use this to smooth it out. I just wanna give it a try. So what I'm gonna do is peel off one of these nails here. And this is using the peel off base coat that I made myself. You can see how I made it in this video here. So this is the dip powder I'm going to use. It's been a while since I used this one. But what I'm going to do is take the base and apply one coat of that to the nail. Now I believe you could also use the file to prep the nail for things like this. And then I'm going to quickly dip into the dip powder. So I'm going to tap off the excess and then set a quick timer for two minutes. All right, so that just gives enough time for the dip powder to kind of dry and harden and then I can brush away the excess. Alrighty, so let's do the second coat. And this is to fix up any patchiness and just make it more opaque. So the whole goal of this is to try to get a little bit of practice with kind of shaping this nail I did. So usually I don't think it would make sense, but this time I'll do a third coat of dip powder just to get some more thickness for me to work with. Okay, so this is what we have so far. Now I'm going to apply the activator and then we can work on buffing the nail. Alrighty, so after two minutes, the nail has dried and it's very hard. Now let's see about filing this a little bit. Okay, I'm going to start on something very low, um, 6,000 RPMs. So I'm going to start by going around the cuticle, kind of trying to make it flush. Okay, so I did a little bit of filing down of, and smoothing out the nail, trying to at least. And here looking down the center of the nail, it does look pretty smooth to me. This is what it looks like from the side. I could use some more practice, but I think it was really relaxing actually, using it to smooth out the nail, kind of like I see in the other people's videos. <laughs> but let me apply top coat to this nail to get the full result. So as I mentioned in my first dipping powder video, the top coat to this system doesn't quite work very well. So I'm just going to use a regular top coat for now. This is a dollar store one, but it works pretty well. So I think I'll try using this one. Alrighty, so there is that nail. I think it's super pretty. The file definitely helped take down some of the bulkiness of those three coats. So in review, this was a really great first experience with an e-file. 
The speed is really easy to control with the knob. I really like how compact it is. It came really nicely packaged. And yeah, I do look forward to using this more. I think I'm going to try doing gel removal with this on natural nails. I've seen lots of videos on that. And I do have a gel pedicure, which is kind of growing out a little bit by now. So I think it would be cool to give this a try, removing that maybe next time. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching. Thank you so much for joining with me today. For my next video, I am going to be testing out some more nail art hacks. I think my last one has over 2,000 views, which is amazing. So I'm going to do another one of those videos next time. <sighs> the camera is tilted. Oh, it's the mat that's tilted. Okay. And then surface work, shortening, and remove. And going off frame. I clearly have no clue what I'm doing. I don't suppose you can use this stuff on regular nail polish, can you? <laughs> it's making really funny sounds. I'm getting better at this dip powder thing. I hardly made a mess. And here is the comment shout out for this video. Thank you so much guys for leaving comments and watching. I really appreciate you all. And if you're not already, feel free to subscribe to my channel for nail art tutorials twice a week. I post on Wednesdays and Saturdays. Remember that a smile is the prettiest thing you can wear. So I hope to see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. You're really amazing and have a magical day.